Not only was the world ready for his music, the world was ready for his color. There was a boy. Everything that was wrong with him wasn't wrong with me. And everything that was wrong with me wasn't wrong with him. He only had two lessons. It was like me just talking or something. It was, he was an absolute genius. There was nothing about his performance that was not absolutely perfect. It was flawless. He actually built Capitol Records because every record he made went to number one on the Billboard charts. You know, every time I walk into the Capitol building, I just get chills because I remember being there with my father. When he moved to Hancock Park and moved into that community, it was not an easy time for him or his family. They wrote on the lawn. They burned in the word nigger. And, you know, big letters. They all had his records in their house, but they signed a petition to get him out. The Nat King Cole Show. The word of mouth did not convince me that a black man had a TV show and said for myself. In the evenings, may I come and sing to you. You say, finally, they get the right person on television. <laughs> Smile. This was the blackest man I'd ever seen in my whole life. You're deceiving the public by taking a man who is black and trying to make him white. There were too many people against the fact that there was a black man on national television, and it just wouldn't go. He said, Madison Avenue is afraid of the dark. To me, he belongs somewhere with that vibe written beneath it about his show, because after he said that, he did this. I remember when Nat went into St. John's in Santa Monica. It was a universal and reaction where everyone was sad. In return. He went in on December 6th, he died February 15th. 35 years from now, they'll not only call what Nat Cole was doing jazz, they'll call it America's classical music. Thinks that I am. Unforgettable to you.